<laughs> Welcome back. Well, after generating millions for some of the biggest companies in the world, our next guest coaches women on achieving their highest life goals. I love this. And she is now sharing how you can start living the life you want and the life you deserve. Please welcome Elizabeth Pearson. Hello. So happy you're here. If you, if you can't tell, I'm so excited. Now, it is the start of the new year. Everybody says, all right, what's your new year's resolution? Let's get moving. And yeah. you say, throw that away. New year's resolutions aren't the be all end all. What usually comes to your mind when you think of a new year's resolution? Failure. I, yeah. It's like something <laughs> you have to do, something you should be doing. It's not usually something that everybody gets really excited about, right? So instead of calling it a resolution, maybe have some long-term goals. If you want to lose weight, meet somebody, manifest somebody in your life, there's other ways to go about it versus just giving yourself a hard and fast resolution. Right. It's about habit changes, right? Small tweaks to your routine, which can set you up for long-term success. Mm. Well, you say a lot of the reason that people get stuck and unable to actually achieve these goals is basically yeah. exactly what you just said. There's something called mindset blocks. What are these yes. mindset blocks and how do we avoid them or get past them? Almost everybody has mindset blocks, Debbie. And it can be anything from, I've always wanted to manifest an amazing romantic relationship into my life, make more money. Okay. I know, I see you. Why are you looking yes. at me when you say that? <laughs> There's people out there that always are wanting to bring something else into their life to kind of upgrade it, make it a little bit better. But the thing is, is that sometimes when we're young or throughout our lives, we get these social conditioning cues, which can actually register in your brain as a bit of a set point. It's kind of like when you have a thermostat and you set it to a certain number. No matter what you do, it's always going to try to come back to that number. So it could be a weight, it could be mm. a romantic status, something like that. And once you acknowledge that it's not you and it's not your willpower, you're not a failure if you can't get these things into your life, then you can start actually tackling some of these subconscious beliefs and changing them so that your life can change. So these are from past experiences is what you're saying. Like oh, you yeah. have these experiences as a child that bring you through adolescence yeah. and adulthood and you still believe these things that are potentially lies. Yeah, but they're not front of mind. Right. That, so they're you, sitting there in your brain yeah. playing so the same think, record over and over. Right. You think I can do this. This is the time. I I can will myself to meet that person to make more money, whatever it is. And yes, you need to take action. You can't just sit and hope for it to come. But a lot of times there are very real self-sabotaging negative belief patterns that are ingrained in your brain. And you've so, no idea. You've no I idea. mean, you've no idea that they're there, really ruining everything you want. And then <laughs> you break the cycle. It creates this negative cycle, that yeah. means 100%. And then you start to feel like a failure, so then the voice gets louder and louder. You're never gonna be able to do this, you're a failure, it's never gonna happen. And then you kind of let yourself off the hook, right? Mm. From actually trying to achieve it. So you can say, you know what, I've tried this and it just doesn't work, so I'm not gonna give it any more life. I'm just gonna accept it is, you know, the way it is. Right. Well, and something interesting, cause you know, a lot of us have been in therapy. I go to therapy yeah. sometimes, but you say therapy isn't the, the, the answer necessarily. There are things that are even better than that, like meditation. Tell mm. me a little bit more, cause I need yeah. to know this. Some people really like meditation and some people really don't. They think they can't <laughs> do it, but meditation is a very powerful tool. And I'm not saying therapy is not completely useful in certain scenarios, but if you have a negative thought pattern or something that is a belief that is not serving you and you keep bringing it back into your energy field week after week, you're actually just giving more life to it and you're gonna manifest more of those things at that low vibrational energy. So negative thought beliefs are really kind of down here, right? We always say we want good vibes, vibrate mm -hmm. higher, things like that. That actually means raising your vibration to a level where you can attract abundance, the person that you want in your life, health, all of this stuff is up here. So if every week or every day you're telling yourself these negative beliefs, you're gonna stay down here and you're gonna manifest more things mm -hmm. down here, Larissa. Mm. So you wanna try to vibrate nice and high. You wanna reach for a feeling that's more positive than your current state. Right. How? And if you keep telling yourself that, you're eventually gonna believe it. Yes. And, yeah. it's, and that is so dangerous. And I hear you when you say that people yeah. think, you know, meditation is hokey. Meditation doesn't have to be somebody talking to you like <laughs> right. this. I think that's what people think. I have yeah. an app on my phone it's that fabulous. I just do 
just so I can relax at night. And it's so wonderful and it lets you go of everything and you just start the day again like refreshed. Totally. It's really wonderful. There's something I want to touch upon. It's the binarial, binarial beats. Is yes. that because I've been hearing a lot about that most recently and oh, I yeah. know you talk about something with that. You should check it out. This is actually brain waves like sound therapy and you can download them for free. Uh, there's so many playlists out there. Mm. And put those on. This is a really great way to add to your existing meditation practice. And when you do this, studies actually show that your brain waves if you're anxious or anything, can be kind of jumping, right? These binarial beats are beta and theta waves that can actually go in and calm your brain. It's similar to hypnosis, mm -hmm. which is another really great way to overcome subconscious um, beliefs and mindset blocks. Mm -hmm. You can even play those in the car, by the way. Yeah. You won't be hypnotized. You actually drive home. Right? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, be <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> they're, make sure you get the right that. one. Right, yeah. exactly. So, you know, if there are things that you feel are missing in your life and you want to manifest them into your life, like you said, you can't just sit there and say, oh, please, please, universe, God, please make them right. come into my life. You also have to take some actions. And by taking actions, you need to create new habits. Yes. How do we create new habits? What can we do? I think that in order to really get that long-term success, you do have to create new habits. And the most important one, I think, is having uh, an attitude of gratitude every day. Mm -hmm. So everybody talks about this, but if you have a negative belief or a mindset block that maybe you can't do something, if you take stock of what you actually do have in your life and you start to bring awareness to that, it will expand, it will appreciate, then you will start to believe that you deserve more of it, more will flow. And then there are some tactical things that you can do, right? So if you're looking to get a job promotion, make more money, you need to have a really polished resume, you can look at hiring a team to help you, coaches, there's a wonderful career coaches out there, life coaches, but get some support for yourself. This could be just your own little personal cheerleader, whether it's a friend or family member. Have them help you remain accountable to yourself, right. right? There needs to be some sort of accountability and then you'll be incentivized and you'll start to get some momentum and you can keep taking steps forward. I mean, we could talk about this forever. Yeah. You are so good, Elizabeth. Thank you so much. I <laughs> love you guys. I feel, I feel a higher vibration already. <laughs> I thank can feel you. your vibration. Oh, good. Well, thank <laughs> good. you so much. I really appreciate all that wonderful information. Thank you. And you can find more information on how to achieve all the success you want and deserve at elizabethpearson.com. That's right. Remember, you deserve it, ladies. Yes. Uh